my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Laurie Garbro Lloyd, an event planner and event hospitality strategist here to bring you tips and tricks about the event industry. Today's video is a fun one. It's fashion and beauty hacks for busy event professionals. So this will include makeup, hair, and clothing hacks that you can use when you're busy working at an event and around event clients, event guests, and your event coworkers. It will keep you feeling polished and professional at all times. So my question for you today is, do you ever get ready? You feel glamorous, polished and professional. You've done excellent hair and makeup and you're wearing the right clothes, but after a while you start to feel and look frazzled. A lot of people will say yes to this, including me, but I found a few ways to combat this. This is really important because event professionals are always around people. We work in such a social industry, we need to maintain our personal appearance, which also affects our personal brand and our reputation. So who are these fashion and beauty hacks for? They're for busy event professionals who are always on the go, they have frequent client meetings, they go to events themselves, they have long days on site at an event, they're involved with an event build or setup, and then they have to switch gears and be event guest ready. So if you're any of those things, please keep listening to this video for six fashion and beauty hacks for event professionals. These hacks will help you get ready in an instant and who doesn't like saving time because none of us have much time to spare when we're working at an event. They will also help you maintain a polished and professional appearance because even though we're busy and we're running around, there's no excuse to look unpolished and unprofessional. This is not how we get and keep dream clients. They will also help you maintain your personal brand and image. If your personal brand and image includes your appearance, like mine, you'll definitely want to keep listening. They will also help us look and feel confident because when we look and feel frazzled, our confidence goes down and this is not how we want to be around our clients and even our event team. We want people to take us seriously and we have to look and feel confident to do that. Hope you're ready for six fashion, hair, and makeup packs for busy event professionals. So my first hack for event professionals is one for our hair. I think it's nearly impossible to keep a perfect hairstyle when we're working at an event and we've been running around and suddenly we have to change clothes uh, because the event guests are about to arrive and during the day or the evening it's hard to find time to go to the restroom and touch up our makeup or our hair. So the way that I combat this is to commit to having a really nice ponytail, braid, or bun. Uh, this keeps my hair out of my face. But the problem with that is sometimes the shorter pieces of my hair tend to fall out. My naturally curly hair starts to uh, show itself. And the way that I combat this is to use a hair wand. The hair wand is really fun. It's just like a mascara wand, except instead of makeup, it has hair gel on it. If you can't find this at your local beauty store, you can also use a toothbrush to spray some hairspray. And all you have to do is just uh, run this along the hairs that you want to tame. And this will keep you looking polished and professional all day during your event. My second hack for event professionals is one for our face. Everybody knows that event professionals get very, very tired and we run on very little sleep, especially during an event. So like today, I look very tired. So what I can do for this is to apply highlighter in the corners of my eyes. You can do it with a liquid or a powder highlighter and all you have to do is just tap it in the middle of your eyes and it will start to make you look more awake. Now the more highlighter you have near your eyes, the more awake that you'll start to look. So it's something I like to do. It draws attention away from the dark circles under my eyes makes me look more awake. My next hack for busy event professionals is about the things that we wear. I think we can all say that when we work at an event, our feet always hurt. If you're like me, you buy shoes that are meant for walking and standing. I like to wear heels, some people like to wear flats, but it doesn't matter how I try to prevent blisters, my feet always hurt and I get blisters. So I learned a tip from celebrities who walk the red carpet. They actually buy one shoe size too big. So that means having about this much extra space at the back of your shoe, because as the day and the night goes on, you will grow into your larger shoe so that they fit properly. 
The strap will help keep the larger shoe size on early in the day or night. So this keeps you from hobbling around your event guests and clients and team members because you've got um, achy feet and blisters and this will keep you looking uh, professional and experienced by having one shoe size too big. The next hack for busy event professionals is back to our hair. So if you intend to have your hair up during an event build and later you want to take it down, I recommend avoiding a high ponytail or bun. The reason for that is when you take it down, you will likely have a crease around here in your head. So to combat this, you can do a low bun, low bun, low ponytail, so that when you take it out, you've got a nice wave at the bottom of your hair and it looks more natural. Time for another beauty hack for busy event professionals. This one about our face. So you know when you're at an event and you tend to get very sweaty or even as the day goes on in your normal life when your face gets oily? I really don't like this. I feel like this makes me look very unprofessional and like I don't know how to do proper makeup, but sometimes it's inevitable. So you can buy these little um, oil blotting wipes um, and you can press it on your face. It'll take the oil off your face and get rid of the shine, the kind that you don't want. But if you don't have the oil blotting papers and you have a um, coffee machine at home, you can also use coffee filters. It has the same effect. So you just press it along your face and it takes away the shine. And I'd say the third thing that you can use is a tissue. It will also help get rid of the shine. But in the order, I think the oil blotting papers, coffee filters, then tissue to take away that shine and keep our face looking really clean and fresh. The last hack for busy event professionals are for those who want to keep a clean and unwrinkled crisp clothes. So I don't like it when I wear shirts that uh, ride up and throughout the day they get wrinkled in my midsection. So now they make a ton of different body suits that you can wear if you like a tucked in shirt look, which I do, and it keeps your shirt tight and pulled to the bottom so that it doesn't ride up and doesn't wrinkle throughout the day. So I don't have one on me to show you, but I've got a picture and this shows you that it looks just like a normal shirt. So I recommend that you get a couple of these in neutral colors or whatever you like to wear on site. You can get a casual one or a, a more fancy one like a button up shirt and wear those when you're working at an event. To recap the six hacks that I told you today, the hair gel wand to tame flyaway hairs and maintain a clean hairdo. Apply highlighter to the inside of your eyes to look more awake. Wear a shoe size that's one too big to prevent blisters. Wear your hair in a low bun or ponytail if you intend to take it down to prevent creases. Blot your face with oil blotting papers or coffee filters to keep the shine away from your face and to wear a bodysuit if you like a tucked in shirt look to prevent wrinkles in your clothing. Follow me on my other social media channels if you want more tips and tricks of how you can be a polished event professional. And stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day. Bye.